Hi, I'm Lori Briggs. With the National USA Swimming Team, I am the Strength and Conditioning Coach and Dry Land Specialist. Today we're going to be doing exercises. The first one we're going to start out with is with a body bar and a BOSU ball. And I would like to show you the setup of this exercise first before we actually go into it and demonstrate from step to step on what's involved in it. Each one of these exercises that you will be seeing will be focused on core strength and stability. And so specific movements of the body and placement of the body is extremely important when you're setting up your equipment. So as you see here, I've got a BOSU ball. I've elevated it on a step for the simple reason is that when you come down onto your BOSU for balance, I want you to make sure that you keep your feet off of the ground behind you. So if you are very tall and you've got long legs, you want to make sure that you elevate your BOSU ball adequately so that your feet don't ride back onto the floor while you're doing your exercise. You want them elevated. So from the back side, after you get your BOSU ball elevated on a step, perhaps with some risers, you are going to use a body bar to do this exercise. And today I'm going to demonstrate this body bar. Um, in front of my body, it's a nine pound body bar. There's many different weights that you can utilize according to the level um, of your dry land training expertise. Starting out perhaps with maybe a six pound and work your way up to a 12 or 15 pound. So we're gonna place our knees on top of the BOSU ball. Again, toes are gonna remain off of the floor throughout the exercise. This particular exercise is the overhead press with your body bar. Um, body position is extremely important. So you want to keep your core engaged while you're doing this exercise. Looking straight ahead, never want to take a look at your knees. You always want to be upright the best that you possibly can be. With an overhand grip of your body bar, you're going to place it about at your shoulder height. And you're going to drive the body bar nice and slow up over your head in keeping your balance on the dome. Right back down again to your beginning position completes that rep. So I suggest that you complete approximately 10 movements of each one of these up over the head just like a regular shoulder press would be performed. Core is engaged, body is very rigid to keep your balance, bringing it all the way down making it a full range of motion. This whole time your toes are remaining off of the floor, body is balanced. After you completed 10 reps, you're going to take your body bar and reposition your hands. One hand is going to the center, opposite hand is going to the opposite tip. Center that body bar back over your shoulders. Now you've got a heavy tip which throws off your balance, which now increases the difficulty of the exercise. The goal now is to keep your body completely straight while you're driving your bar overhead. Now out of your peripheral vision, you want to make sure that your tips are even as you drive it up over and bring it right back to your shoulder height. Again, after completing 10 reps, you're going to now shift that weight so that you've got the heavy end on the opposite side. Line those hands back up with your shoulders and complete the rest of your exercise with an overhead press 10 times. Nice and smooth, abs are engaged, back is flat. On your last one, relax, place your body bar down on the floor, step behind your BOSU, and that completes your exercise. 